Hey everybody, it's been a while. Welcome back. I am here to show you my haul from my most recent trip to New York. We went for the uh, Travelers Company Caravan event, but we spent the day in the city and I did a bunch of other shopping as well. So I'll take you through kind of the things that I got in the order that I got them. Um, so the first place we went was Paper Source, which is a really cool place. It's We don't have... I think there might be one in one in my state, which is like as far away as possible. So going to New York is some, it's somewhere I always stop when we go. So I got this little bear stamp. Um, and I've seen that some of you, I think, have this on Instagram. But I love this little stamp. And I've had my eye on it online for a long time, but I never wanted to pay shipping for like a $5 stamp. So I picked it up while we were there. Put him over here. And I got this uh, MT Critter Washi Tape. This is one of their design collabs. And it's got owls and penguins and zebras and dogs and all kinds of other animals on it. So that's kind of neat. I got this card, which was totally like one of those things that I picked up right next to the register. Because I was like, oh, that's cute. I like the typography, so I'll probably use that. I don't know. I'll collage it into a cover of something. And then in their paper uh, section where they have all just the blank cards and envelopes and stuff in all different sizes, I picked up a bunch of envelopes. So these are uh, the number 10 size. Technically, they're like basically a business envelope size, but they open Japanese style instead of American or European. Um, actually, I don't know if Europeans use the long way, but anyway, it's not how my envelopes usually look, but I got them uh, in this kind of stone color and then in this moss color, which is nice. So my pen pals will probably be seeing those. Um, so that was the haul from Paper Source. Small, but you know, useful. I'm trying not to buy things just because I think they're pretty. I'm trying to only buy things that I'm gonna use. So that actually helped me not spend too much money. Um, so the next place that we went was Kinokuniya. And that is a Japanese bookstore near Bryant Park. And I didn't get too much there, but it is planner season there, which is awesome because all the calendars are out. And my favorite thing that I got is this Oji-san uh, 2018 flip calendar. And I have the 2017 one, and I had the 2016 one. And I got a new job a couple of months ago, so I no longer work in the same company as the, uh, my Japanese friend who would go um, to Japan to see her family once or twice a year. Uh, so I don't have her saying to me, you know, I aming me on the work I am and being like, oh, I'm going home, you know, do you want anything? So I didn't think I was going to get this calendar this year because you can't order these, you know, the Midori online store doesn't ship outside Japan. Um, so I didn't think I was going to get this, but they had them on display with the other calendars. So I'm really excited to open him up next year. I also got this schedule book. This is, um, an Apika notebook. So this is just a monthly book. And it's got a little bit of personal data in the back, some blank pages for notes and whatnot, and then it's monthly uh, from December of this year through February of, ne of uh, 2019. So this is neat. Now this is the first monthly schedule book I got because I have figured out that for my analog system at work, mostly I just take notes in a regular notebook, so I don't need you know, a bullet journal or whatever, but I do like to have sort of a monthly calendar to look against uh, just for kind of big events or if I'm going to be out of the office or in a training or whatever, it's nice to kind of have that. And I do all that on the computer too, but there's just something about holding it in your hand, which I'm sure I don't need to tell you if you're here watching this. So uh, I got this. I did end up getting another one, um, but I will use this elsewhere, maybe, you know, in the 20... 18 calendar for when I give my dogs their medications and stuff. So, um, and Apica's really nice, high quality paper. So there's that. And then the other thing I got at Kinokuniya are these mild liners. And this isn't a color I didn't have. And I don't know if it's a new color or if it's just one that I had not seen, but it's kind of like a, like a mild pink. It's similar to the red, but not the same. I really like it. I'm a big fan. So I got two, one for the office and one for home. Um, so that's Kinokuniya. And then we went to Muji. And I love Muji. Muji has some of the best stuff. So Muji actually, uh, will play a very large part in my 2018 analog system at work. But one of the, one of the things I got were these notepads. Um, and these are just B5, you know, writing pads, but 
again, something my pen pals will probably see letters on this year. Um, because I love, this is such a great paper size. It's such a good letter size and it's lined, which is really nice. And then the other things, whoops, that I got there are a bunch of these notebooks. I got three of these black ones and these are kind of their higher quality um, notes. They're not, so they do the really thin ones. These are a little bit thicker, but the same kind of binding. Um, and these are just regular lined paper, but I generally take my work notes in this kind of a thing and then uh, so I got three of those and that should get me through possibly a year at least six months it'll kind of depend I may need you know it might, I meet I might need a fourth one for the last quarter of next year but I figure I'll go to New York before the end of next year so three will get me through for now and then the other calendar that I picked up this is a Muji A5 uh, 2018 monthly calendar and it's the same kind of thing as the Apica. The paper is different obviously because Muji has different paper. Muji's got pretty nice paper too. Uh, it's very smooth which is nice. So this is just another monthly calendar uh, and this one goes through January of 2019 and then again it's got notes in the back and it comes with a neat little plastic cover so that's nice. Um, and that's the Muji haul. Again not a ton but things that I know I'll use. So now to the good stuff. Uh, we went to the Travelers Company whoops, caravan event at the Ace Hotel in New York, which is really cool because they do sort of like co-branded goods. So the first thing I saw was that they have the English edition of the Travelers Times, which is always nice. I did get the Japanese edition um, when I got an order from Baumkuchen with my 2018 um, Travelers Notebook stuff. And I actually have another order uh, from them that I can show you here too. Um, but the Traveler's Times English edition is nice because you can kind of see all the things that I couldn't read because I don't read Japanese. They're all here, which is really cool. I'll leave this here for a second if you want to pause. I don't know, maybe you don't. This whole spread. It makes much more sense reading it like this than it did when I was holding my like Google Translate over it because you know how if you have the live translate thing on like the words will change size and like meaning and orientation as like if you shake your camera at all um so it's nice to actually read what it really says rather than what google translate thinks it says from moment to moment which is not always the same um so this is i picked this up which is pretty awesome uh, and you can actually see that bump is featured right there so that is cool and while I can actually just leave this here so I did not pick up the Ace Hotel uh, version of the Traveler's Notebook because it's a camel color this year I did get the black one last year it's a camel color this year I'm not crazy about the camel I have a camel cover and I just don't love it it's my least favorite uh, of the three you know colors that they have constantly I never got the olive one again because I'm not crazy about the olive cover I really really love my brown one that's you know that's what I it's what I love it's my favorite thing but what I did get was the olive green uh four off fabric insert with the zipper and the three pockets and I have the light blue one of this and you guys have probably seen it in my videos if you've watched them before but I just I love this olive green one and I love how it looks with the dark brown cover so this is one thing that I did kind of splurge on um it was 33 dollars 2,800 yen, so slightly marked up, but not terrible. Um, yeah, and I just really wanted the olive green insert because it's going to look nice with the with the brown. And I mean, the, the cheapest I could find this online, like through Etsy, was maybe 50 bucks. So I still, you know, saved some money as opposed to what I would have gotten it for otherwise. I did get the pen, the Ace Hotel pen. So this is the same brass ballpoint pen. Uh, that they typically sell in a couple of different colors, except that it has the the Ace Hotel, you know, the companion, the um, collab logo. So it's painted and it's got the logo here, which is cool. And then this is, this is painted, but it's also engraved. I can feel the engraving. So that will still be there even as the paint chips with use. Um, so that's neat. And this is the same, you know, the same pen that you'd expect. This is their kind of signature ballpoint. So I totally love these pens. The ink is so great. They write really well. Like if you have those transparent um, 
Let me see if I can grab some. Mm. Of course, now that I'm trying to, I can't find them. But if you have like see-through sticky notes or any kind of transparent sticky note, these this ink writes really well on it. It dries pretty quickly. It doesn't, you know, smudge like a gel would do, uh, which is really nice. It's, it's a ballpoint, but it's a very smooth feeling ballpoint. So that I did get. And then the other thing that I did was the custom notebook. And that's kind of what the caravan event was all about. You pick out a cover and then they have this huge table full of little dishes of paper, each with a little uh, label next to it. And you can check me out on Instagram. I did post some pictures of that while we were there. So you can kind of get a feel for what it looked like. Um, but this is the notebook that I ended up with this year. I didn't get the Ace Hotel New York cover this year because it's what I got last year. Um, but I noticed last year when we went that I never, I've never used the notebook. Like I got it, I made it, it was so cool. And then that was it. It's, it has sat on a shelf for the past year. So when I went this year, I decided that I would go and build a notebook that I could tear apart, that I could pull out pages and rip them up for collaging, for, you know, sending to pen pals, for doing envelope art and stuff like that. So I really was picking paper this year with an eye towards pulling it out of the notebook and using it because I tend to be a little bit precious about stuff like this, but I think it's so important to have analog artifacts that you're going to use, not just that you're going to keep and look at things that you're actually going to put, you know, into work, into your daily analog life, you know, things that you not just love to look at, but things that you love to touch and to use and to give life and send out into the world. So this is what I ended up with, uh, which is plain in the back. I got a little kangaroo pocket back here. I don't know what I'll do with it, but I just thought it was neat in case I, you know, tear out scraps and have to put something in there. I did get a little bit of grid paper. So that is, is uh, one of the first things that I picked up. I did get some of the craft paper. It's really neat. This uh, confetti paper is so cool. You can kind of see like the multicolor specks in there. And it was kind of dark in the Ace Hotel. The only problem was doing this in the Ace Hotel. It's a cool hotel. It's a cool environment. But there are like no lights in that lobby. And it was so crowded. It was so hot because they've got a bar and a coffee shop and whatever. Like there was no open seating. It was very claustrophobic kind of event and it was dark so you're crowded around this table with all of these different dishes and people I mean nobody was mean everybody was really enthusiastic and it was fun but it was like you know you're crowded around this dark table where you've got a couple of lamps that are kind of illuminating the paper that you're looking at um but I felt kind of bad you know if somebody had just stumbled in and they didn't know this paper they didn't know the company like what would they think of the event hopefully they'd still think it was fun but for me I was like oh my god I can't see the paper you know people were holding it up under the lights uh, to try and see what was in it. So this is more colorful than it looked in the dark, long story short, but I really, really like it. It's kind of a fun, like, confetti thing. So that's a neat paper. I did get sort of this blue one. It's like a peacocky blue. I don't know how it looks on your monitor, but... Um, and this is... I think they they might use this paper in some of the colored Midori refills. I've never gotten one, so I can't be sure. Then I got this. Uh, this kind of has gold and silver flex in it. You can see the light move over that. So that's nice. This is a gray paper. And I think this is their elephant paper, maybe, but it's kind of gray. It's a little bit smooth on one side and a little bit rougher on the other. Uh, so there's that. And then I picked up this super cheerful yellow. This is just such a neat, bright color. Um, and that kind of makes up the papers that I got. So here's sort of the side profile. So these I will tear out and you know, put onto envelopes and various things. And then this is the front page, which I saved for last because the guy who bound them, because they will actually bind them right in front of you. You pick your cover, you pick your papers, and then they bind it right in front of you. And what they will do is they'll fold the notebook over the cover like this, and they'll line up all the holes in the paper, and then they will just, you know, take the, the ring and basically twist it through until the whole thing is bound and then they just, you know, turn over the edges with the little pliers. So he actually, he was, he was signing the notebook sort of, you know, writing the Traveler's Factory in his name. Um, so that is really, really neat. And I'm grateful that he did that. He seemed like he felt, he felt it was strange that people wanted him to sign their books, but I saw him do it for a couple of people and I was like, Hey, I'll, I'll do that. You know, maybe I won't ask him next year. Maybe I'll 
you know, whatever. But anyway, so that is the Traveler's Factory Spiral Ring Notebook that I customized for myself. This cost $18. The way that it works is that you buy a ticket and then you hand over the ticket to the people who have a tray at the end of the table. And then uh, on that tray is um, a paper card, sort of a rectangle about this size, with a slot to cut into it. And basically that slot is about this wide and basically you fill it up with paper and when you can't fit any more paper in it that's as much paper as the spiral notebook will hold uh, so that's kind of a cool way to make sure that you can get the maximum you know that is allowable without going over and because um, you've already paid for it at that point so they want to make sure that you you know have a good experience making it so it's a nice little touch and it's a cool it's a cool notebook and I definitely plan on actually using these papers this is just their business card for their Nakameguro Narita Airport and Tokyo Station. So this is a new business card from last year because they didn't have the Tokyo Station location last year. That's new. Um, so that's that. And then, of course, the there's the English version of sort of the Traveler's Company story, the little prologue, um, you know, the birth of the notebook and the store and the brass products and just some information. And you may have seen this before if you uh, watched my travel journal Tokyo uh, flip through. But if not... They had the English version, so it's nice that they had the English versions of these. And then this is a, a bicycle map. Well, Traveler Factory and Tokyo Bike, but it's a map of the Nakameguro neighborhood where the flagship store is located. So that was a cool. It was a cool experience. It's so funny because you know I, I'm among my people when I go to those things, but at the same time, it's such a quick experience. Like you get in there, you buy your ticket, you do your notebook, and then there's not really a whole lot you can do. I would have stayed there and you know decorated other notebooks and done things in my travel journal but my husband was with me so I didn't want him to just feel like he had nothing to do and there was also like I said nowhere to sit I mean every single sittable surface in that place that wasn't the floor was completely taken so it was a little bit crazy um so what I will be doing for my analog system for work is going to be this calendar paired with a notebook and I'll switch out these notebooks as I fill them that's going to go in my, um, wee, in my, what the heck is it called? My eternal leather A5 thing. And that these are my notebooks for right now. So I'll use those through, this starts in December. So I will just use these for the next like week, two weeks, uh, and then swap out. And then the other thing that I'll be using, like I said, is something from Bamkuhen. So the other thing that I have in my current, uh, work analog setup, is let me just pull it out here where are you is a quick to-do list and the thing I like about the to-do list is that um, I can jot down quick like if something comes out of a meeting and I have to do it like within the next couple of hours I'll just put it on that list I have a spreadsheet of like bigger to-dos for the longer term, but I don't put little bitty like oh change this cell in this spreadsheet because that's just unnecessary. That's like a just get it done. You don't have to log it as something that you did. Uh, so what I got was this let's do this packet of to-do list stuff from Baumkuchen. And the cool thing about this is that it is specifically designed to work with A5 and to actually stick out the top. So it's kind of tough to see. Uh, but when this is down, so it'll actually, it's designed to be long enough to stick out. So it kind of you know, is a neat little inspirational phrase and it's, it's neat to see. It's beautifully designed as everything is that they do. So that is the haul. And I thank you guys for sticking with me. If you went to the Traveler's Notebook event, you know, did you like it? Did you have fun? Was it amazing? I wish I had seen people there. You know, I wish I had been able to connect, but it didn't see, you know, it's, it's tough. And maybe next year I'll try to plan for, oh, you know, Instagram people. Let's all say hi to each other. Um, so let me know if you're planning on going next year, if they come. And, you know, maybe we can do a little Instagram meetup or something in the event or close to the event or whatever. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. It's a year from now. So who knows what, hap what could happen. But um, this is my haul from New York. My camera can't even hold it all because... This rig is way too close to my desk, so I apologize for that because it's not the best experience. But uh, you get it. You've seen it. And I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.